Hello and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Prison Architect. You can call me Nation and we're going to be a creating a new prison. We're gonna set this as medium just to make things a little bit easier on us we'll go with uh, Fog of War, take off failure conditions and just so we don't have any th problems to worry about we'll go with unlimited funds. That way we can go negative we don't have to worry about losing too much money we'll always have money even if we end up going negative so we'll get this started up and you'll see the workers coming in what we're gonna do here is to set up our prison the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is to think out a few different spots of where you want this all to go we'll pause the game here for a second just so we can so we don't lose up any time and if you go into planning this is where your where you can actually plan out your buildings where you can make rooms without your workers actually doing it as you can see the description plan out your prison without the fear of workers actually doing anything so we'll take the we'll take walls and the first thing to do in case you don't have enough room is to set up a holding cell and if we go over to the room we'll go over to holding cell and you can see the minimum size is five by five we'll make it just a little bit bigger than that we'll go with seven by seven so you can see it's seven right there and the actual size is going to be five by five so that makes it now again this is in the planning phase so the workers won't actually do something like that won't actually do something with it uh... When, what you can do in the planning phase is to right click and that will take away the bar or you can right click and drag and that'll take away the whole thing now the big thing that we're going to be looking at is the foundations you've got concrete and brick well think about this these are prisoners and if you've ever been in a prison or been to a, even a jail they don't have any kind of fancy stuff to begin with they're always concrete so I'm going to make this concrete now if we speed it up we'll see the workers all coming in with the deliveries all coming right behind them and right away the workers start putting their stuff down now it's on three speeds so it's uh, gonna go very fast I'll be switching between one first speed and three speed just depending on what we're looking for in the situation now you can see that it says in red requires entrance so what will, what will you do with that go over to objects being that it's a holding cell you've got your jail door right there we'll speed it up and there's the building now we need to designate this as a holding cell and a holding cell is a room so we go over to the rooms tab now with the holding cell you click on that and then you click that and now it's designated as a holding cell right well you can see it's got a few different things apparently we already have a bench in there which I didn't know about you can see that so we'll come over here put the toilet put the bench and we'll speed it up so that we can get the workers going in there as they install the lights and now we've got the bench and the toilet but it's not recognizing it well it's enclosed the minimum size is five by five we already verified that correct well the first time that I played prison architect that drove me nuts took me an took me a long time to figure out what 
was actually going on with that to uh, properly understand that. So, when you grab the holding cell, or just any room in general, the trick is that it has to be throughout the entire room. Notice and now it says holding cell. We'll sp go into one speed and there we go. Now the room is a holding cell. So the we've got all these flashing things that are just gonna drive you absolutely crazy if you don't take care of them. So we'll take power station put that right there. And then we'll take the water pump station and we'll put it right there. Maybe. What's going on? Oh, there's a tree. Dismantle the tree. And I'm just gonna wait wait on them wait to dismantle the tree. There's our power. And the tree is gone, so now we can build there. And you'll see him, see that worker putting the logs together. Now that's installed. Hooray! Now, we've got to set up the utilities. And there we go. Now we've got light and we've got functioning power, functioning water, I should say. So we've got our f we've got our first room. That's looking good so far, but what we need to do is to create a cell block. Now the prisoners will be arriving in 17 hours. So We'll go down here to planning and start figuring out what we're going to do with this. Now, there's going to be a rhyme and a reason to what to the way that I'm designing this for now. Um, the prisoners would need to be in a cell, and if you come over to the cell in the rooms, you can see its minimum size is two by three. So that means two by three, two by three, two by three, two by three. Make sense? All right. So the big thing that you need to bear in mind when you're creating your cells, you might feel like you want to give yours, give your prisoners some liberties and give them a little bit bigger of a cell. Well, think about this: they're prisoners. They're in here for a reason. They killed somebody. They, they extorted an officer. The, you name it. There, there's a bunch of crazy reasons and totally hilarious stories as to how these prisoners got in their situation. They don't have liberties. They don't deserve bigger rooms. So we're gonna go ahead and map out our room here so we've got our two by three and a right there and you can see it's two by three so we want to keep that theme going generally speaking if you want to boil it down a little bit when you're designing your room the enclosure the open space is going to be smaller than the the walls so we're gonna have two by three so if we if we were to do this right here well we don't have a walking space right here if we keep going because now it's two by three so that won't work right we'll go ahead and get rid of these just with dragging the right click so two by three Two by three. Two by three. And there we go. 
So you can see how it can start mapping out once you get going here like this. Now we need eight cells and what we're going to want to do is to basically keep all of all of this uniform. We've got two by three, two by three, so now we've got six cells. So notice I'm going to put this as four, four, and now we've got our two by three. So that's going to be our basic setup for this. We'll go ahead and take concrete. We'll speed it up. Now again, it requires an entrance. So what are we going to do? Come over to objects, put in the jail door. And now we have the room. All right, so we'll slow it down. We'll start designating the cells while they put in those lights. Those blinking lights. So we've got our cell rooms designated, but we still need to create the rooms themselves. So in order to do that, we need to put up walls. Come over to materials, concrete wall. I kind of refer to this layout as the T, just because you're making a T right there, or something along those lines. In my brain, I'm making a let the letter T with it. Now, a cell has to be... We've got the minimum size. We've got it mostly enclosed. It is indoors. It's a uh, entire building. But we also need a bed and a toilet, so that is pretty simple. We'll just put the beds facing this way. We're going to keep this, for the most part, nice and uniform. So, put the toilets on the same side, respectively. I'm gonna get rid of all of those from planning. So now it's gonna take them just a second. The reason I'm not putting the doors first is because the I don't have any guards just yet, and staff such as workers or the warden, things like that, they cannot open jail jail doors. You have to open them, or a guard guard has to open it. So once we get all the toilets installed. You can see we've now satisfied almost all of them except for being enclosed. It has to have walls and doors, which we just discussed. So we'll come over here. Before we do that, we will set up our water lines. I'm just going to take it straight down and then put them across. And then they get to work. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Now I've got functioning water throughout those eight cells for our prisoners. So they can go potty now. Yay. Now we need to finish off the cells, so we'll take the jail doors. 
Now a good thing about the way that this system works, if you misplay if you misclick and put put a door somewhere, you can just immediately right click it. Yes, you will still be charged for it, but you won't have to repurchase it. It's still in your inventory. So we'll get all of these finished off. Now they've these rooms have something blocking their way so the door won't actually close. And now we can see that all of those cells are ready to go. Now a few more things that we're going to be looking at is the different types of rooms um, they need to be able to eat so we have to set up canteen and a kitchen there's no room requirements uh, except that it's indoors and they need their basic items so we're gonna go over here and create a concrete building I think we'll make it 10 by 10 sounds good flat out thousand dollars speed it up we're ready to go now this is a public room it's something that the set that the prisoners need to be able to access all the time it is actually important that they do because it, if they don't have a job in a laundry room or a workshop or anything like that they're gonna find ways to fill their time so sometimes that filling that time is filling the void with food so they will go into the into the canteen so we'll put a door right here Speed it up so we can get that door in there. And there we go. Now, the canteen and the kitchen don't have to be together, but I like to have them together. So we'll put the canteen, and then we'll put the kitchen just right there. So the room requirements for the canteen... serving table we'll just put that right here between the kitchen and the and the canteen itself that way the cooks don't have to go very far and then we'll set up a bench right here with a table right there give them a little bit of walking room between the two I'm starting to think I want to put the serving table in a different spot. I'll put it right there. Now the kitchen requires a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. They're all right here. Cooker, fridge, sink. So, you can move them around and whatnot. Um, if you get really close, you'll notice that's the front that's the back. You can use R to rotate. So here's the back. We'll just put it right there. Put the fridge right next to it. And then again, there's the back. There's the front. Unless I've got that completely backwards. I've been playing this long game wrong the whole time. To it. So put the sink in there as well. Now those are going to require utilities. So we'll come over here. Uh, the water has to go to the sink. So it has to go into the middle of the sink moreover. So guessed it 
correctly right there, so we'll do that. So those are installed. Now the uh, apparently I was wrong with the serving table, so we're just gonna say screw it. Dismantle the serving table. Did that pretty quick. And we'll make the make make the cooks work for it too. So we'll put the serving table up at the top. Let everybody finish the doing what they're going to do. There we go. So we've got... Just about got water running to that. And going back to what we are saying earlier about the uh, power. We're going to have to put... All of this together. So... If all goes well, we won't have any problems with them getting stuck in walls. Can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. Speed this up a bit. Got six hours until our prisoners arrive. Now I've got power and we've got running water. Ah, oh, yes. Now the power just went out because we overloaded it. The uh, cooker and the light, or light, I hate lights. The, uh, the cooker and the fridge do take a bit of power, so in order to resolve this, we have to be able to get more power to it. Well, logically, you could put in another power station and just connect it to that, right? Wrong. You put two generators together, it breaks the fuse and and it just doesn't work so in order to fix that we're gonna get a capacitor we're gonna put it right there right between that and now finishing touch switch on hooray So now we've got functioning power and functioning water going to the kitchen and the canteen. Now, here's a big thing that you could probably get a lot of kicks out of uh, as time goes by. Your prisoners can, and they will escape. So, we need to be able to enclose this entire area. In order to do that properly, we can just make walls. We'll put a wall right there and then we will put walls right there so you can see that it is essentially now closed off except for that main entrance where they can and will run out so we could put a jail door right there now you'd think that a single jail door would suffice because that prisoners cannot open staff doors nor can they open jail doors of any sort well I've had I've discovered that prisoners will actually get very crafty and they will specifically wait until your workers and and guards are at the door as soon as that door opens they'll book it out so what do I do to deal with this multiple door system So we've got three hours left. If they can ever manage to open up those doors, there we go. So everything is pretty good to go right now. The kitchen does need a, a cook, so we'll put one guy in there. And now we're going to have eight prisoners arriving. Now, in theory, 
you've got the different levels. You've got maximum security, and then normal risk, and then low risk. Just to minimize the chance of escape and riots and things like that, we'll go with low risk. It'll still happen, but it's not going to happen as much. Plus, on top of that, low risk, they get out sooner. So, we'll go ahead and speed up the time. One thing that we are forgetting at the moment, most important thing of any prison, is the guards. Gonna shift and click, and we've got six guards. Six guards should be more than enough for eight single prisoners. So here we go. We've got our pri prisoner guards. We've got one taking a stroll in the canteen, which actually kind of makes me happy. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had a riot start in the canteen. Now we've got enough cells and we've got got enough guards, so the holding cell might not be necessary at this particular moment, but if you end up taking in more more prisoners than you can handle then they'll be put in the holding cell which is why you do need it and here comes the party so leaf reef newman we had our words he called me scrap so i kissed him upside the brain you know with that aluminum baseball bat Sentenced for five years, multiple crimes, including insider trading and forgery. Insider trading, you got five years. Forgery for two years. He served two and a half, and he will be out in seven. We've got John Rennie. Sentenced for years for indie video game piracy. Who pirates video games? Would you pirate a car? Would you? I sure as hell would. Hopefully I do less than four years for it. Yeah. I think there's a video game about stealing cars. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe they could call it stealing great cars? Okay, we'll get our last prisoner in there. Now, you notice we've got a little bit more money than we just did and that's because we have prisoners prisoners are where your cash flow comes from fortunately we've still got some money in the positive so we're not we're not in the negatives just yet so there you have it that is day one of prison architect We've got a uh, we got some food coming in and we've got our deliveries. We've got our workers, our guards and everybody. So, next things that we're going to be focusing on in the next video is going to be uh the mostly the different rooms. You can see that you've got shower, you've got deliveries, office, visitation, common room. All of these things are actually important. They are something that you do need and we'll be getting into details about the about how all of that works. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.